hey hi guys welcome uh, in our earlier videos we saw how to improve the performance of a python code by actually choosing the right data structure in the right scenario now what if the python code is already optimized or what if it doesn't require any kind of data structure and it's just some loops that's running in in which case you actually don't require any uh, data structure if that is the scenario how will you still optimize your python code now how to improve the performance if that's just a cpu intensive operation and that doesn't require any kind of data structure and that's just a simple loops that is running in in that case shall we write the code in c programming instead of python now why do we have to write a c code instead of python now python is an interpreted language that means the code that you write in python gets compiled into an intermediate byte code that is again interpreted by the python interpreter and is converted into a machine code now in case of c programming your code is directly compiled by a c compiler into a machine code instead of an intermediate byte code now in which case machine code will directly run on a machine and there will not be any kind of interpretation overhead and hence c program is always faster than any other interpreted languages writing a program in c increases the number of lines and it actually doesn't provide a lot of facilities that a high level programming languages like python or java provides and hence it actually decreases the productivity of a developer when you start writing a code entirely in c so we don't want to do that and also we just want to optimize only that part of the code in python that is taking time i mean that is taking an extensive cpu time and i just want to optimize that part of the code alone why do i have to write an entire python code into c so so shall we write a python c extension module instead now instead of converting the entire code into a c program shall we convert that part of the code alone into a c extension module that part of the code in the sense the part that is taking a long time or the part in which you have written a multiple loops or multiple nested loops that particular code alone can we convert it into a c extension module now what is a c extension module i mean python c extension module now now let me consider a case now here let me open up the terminal now let's write a function in python now say i have a function called form uh, which which just it just prints hello okay now let's see the details of this function now this particular function it says type function now let's consider any built in function and see what it says now this particular function is called a built in function and while this fu this particular function that we wrote in python it was just called as a function why because this particular function here is written in c and is exposed to a python program now what is the difference between this particular function and this particular built in function now a built in function is written in c and is compiled into a machine code and is exposed to a python program so whenever we call a built in function using a py using python that particular code directly runs at machine level instead of being interpreted now only the arguments that you pass is getting converted into a c representation and then it's the result is again converted into 
a python representation from c representation while sending it back to a python code now only that conversion happens in between the rest of the code directly runs as a machine at, at machine level now in this case where we have a python level function the entire file and their function is itself interpreted so this function is going to be definitely slower than this particular reduce function which is a built in function now can we write a built in function ourselves yes we can and to do that we have to use python c api that means python provides uh, multiple c header files and multiple structures that you have to use in order to write your own c extension module or an any inbuilt function or built in function that you want to write now to do that you have to learn this entire section here in this doc page so you have to run you have to know the details of all these py object structures mm, and all other details in order to write a c extension module now who wants to do that again no we don't want to do that then what to do now so we don't want to do that because this requires a very good knowledge on c and as well as on python c api then still how will you improve the performance now here comes cython now we use cython to write a simple code using a python like syntax and then that code gets compiled or converted into a c extension module using cython now cython helps to actually convert your python like code to convert i mean to transform into a c extension module cython is actually actually an auxiliary auxiliary language that means it mostly follows all the python syntax except few additional syntax that you have to use in order to instruct cython what uh, you are going to do or what types you are using or uh, uh, what uh, input types or return types that you, you want to send and what type of function you are using and all those static typing details you have to instruct it to cython now we'll get into all those details later but right now cython actually helps to convert your python code into a c extension module and then that particular c extension module directly runs at machine level that means it is converted into a machine code and it directly runs at machine level and that's why it is definitely going to be faster than your python code your normal python code now when to use cython now you have you can use cython in any cpu intensive operation to optimize the code now say you have a nested loop now in this case your operation is completely cpu intensive and the entire time is taken by a cpu and there is no io time or any network uh, delay or something like that the entire time is consumed by a cpu now in such case you can use your cython code or you can use cython to actually optimize that part of the code and get get it compiled into a c extension module now this will definitely improve the performance of your code now when not to use python sorry when not to use cython is consider a case when not to use cython so consider a case where you are sending a request to a particular server and you are waiting for a response and in this case there is a network delay and there isn't much that your code can do except like your network to improve um, you should be improving your network 
uh, bandwidth instead of like improving your uh, code so in this case Saitan cannot improve the performance of the code so you should not be using Saitan in this particular case so prerequisites uh, what do you need or what prerequisites you should be having in order to learn Saitan now you should be having a basic understanding on C as well as you definitely you need to have understanding on Python uh, and you should be having basic knowledge on C programming all the static typing details that is available in C which is not actually available in Python now with this prerequisites we can go ahead with the Python or Cython tutorials and in the next video we will see how to actually set up Cython code in your system and let's actually see some examples um, and just compare it with a, a Python code and a code that is compiled using a Cython. Thank you guys. Have a great day.